Hi there, this is Tamara Rubin, Let's Safe Mama, letsafemama.com, tamarubin.com. And I'm here today to share this with you. Um, I have a similar example on my blog. This is a dip and chip tray with all these pieces. And doo -doo -doo, you get the idea. <laughs> anyway, so, and it's from Mexico. Um, as many of these brightly colored items are. And one thing to note on this particular one, which is from my friend Katie, who's been sitting in my storage for years now, I think. Um, it's chipped, so the glaze chips with normal wear and use. And the fun part, it's fun in a sort of distorted, messed up way. Um, fun because um, I like uncovering problems and educating you all about them. Um, it says made in Mexico and lead free. Well, this is not lead free, just in case you thought it might actually be. Uh, the surface is about 68,000 parts per million lead. The amount of lead that's considered toxic in a newly manufactured item intended for use by children is anything 90 parts per million lead or higher in the glazer coating or paint. So again, this is like 68,000 in that range on the glaze the colored side. The white part is about 30,000, 33,000 parts per million lead. And the unglazed terracotta, which you can test using the edge, um, it's not 100% accurate because there might be some bit of the glaze in the scope of the XRF when it's tested, it comes in at about 3,000 uh, parts per million lead. So lead free, it is not. And the one thing I wanted to show you is that I don't, I haven't tested this with a lead check swab. Here's a lead check swab. And I'm just going to test it in front of you so we could determine um, if it is possibly bioavailable. I mean, I'm certain that under the right circumstances, lead at these levels is bioavailable. But snap, snap, and just pull this out so you can see the yellow. And in front of you, I will test this that is marked lead free. Um, to see if it turns red. Now, what I tell a lot of people all the time, written on my blog, is that just because something is not testing positive with lead tick swab does not mean it's lead free and does not also not mean it's lead safe. These swabs were really designed to test paint, as the video from yesterday showed, not to test ceramics or glazes. So even though we know this is super high lead, it's not testing positive with the swab. And one might argue or allege that that means it's not bioavailable lead, and I disagree with that. I think that just because it doesn't test positive with the swab doesn't mean it's not bioavailable. It could still be bioavailable, especially if you're putting something like salsa in the center dish here. You've got an acidic liquid that is tomato-based and might have lemon juice in it. You might have vinegar in this, and all of those things will help leach the lead from the glaze which is very high lead. So even though this is not test positive with the swab, I, I just don't consider this safe for food use. And I'm just gonna show you, there is a tiny hint of pink in there. It's just coming up as I let it sit, but um, it's still technically not testing positive with the swab. And that doesn't mean that it's not positive for lead. I'll put a couple of links in the description here, one with another example of this and my post discussing why even though something might be super high lead that's the dish, it's still um, won't test positive with a swab. So that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in. Tamara Rubin, TamaraRubin.com, LeadSafeMama.com. And I'm trying to make these short videos to follow up on my 10 Minutes with Tamara series just to answer questions that come up throughout the day each day. So I avoid all Mexican pottery and especially the stuff that's labeled lead free because it's just a sales technique to try and... Um, get you to buy something when it's actually not safe necessarily. Okay, thanks. See you later. Bye-bye.